Right, we're back at Focus on Imaging 2011 and we're on the NEC stand and we've got a really interesting new monitor to talk about. What's your name, mate? Richard. You're Richard from, from NEC. Um, and what are you showing uh, here on the stand today? What's new? Uh, really, the, the newest thing that we've got on offer from NEC is a new 10-bit uh, PIPS panel technology. Right, that's this uh, one, is it? Absolutely. This is our uh, PA, sorry, SpectraView 301W. Uh, which is a 30 inch 10 bit panel uh -huh. and um, it's basically really just uh, advancing the number of colors that can be displayed on a screen. So um, what, what do you mean by 10 bits? I, I... Uh, it's basically 10 bits per pixel. Um, it basically means that you're going from the traditional 8 bits per pixel monitor, which is what most monitors are in the market, uh -huh. um, which gives you 16.7 million colors on screen, which does sound like a lot, but when you're doing uh, color retouching or grading work, um, then you'll need an extension to that color palette. And what 10 bit offers is up to a billion colors simultaneously displayed on the screen. So, I mean, does, does this mean that do, do all computers support 10 bit? Or? No, I've never heard of 10 bit until now. How do, how do I get 10 bit output to the monitor? Okay, so 10 bit currently um, you need a 10 bit display, but also you need a 10 bit graphics controller that goes with it. And uh, most of the main manufacturers like ATI and Nvidia now are producing. 10-bit graphics controllers, but you also need a new operating system and thankfully with Windows 7, it's the first one that supports the full 10-bit color depth. Right. So it's very, I would say that it's in its infancy, but uh, buying a 10-bit panel today will certainly be a good future-proof investment for you. So is this something you. we're going to see a lot more of in the future? I think without, without a doubt. I think as um, Adobe come on board with their applications and with Windows 7 and, and with the next generation of Mac operating systems. All right. So do the, the current Macs don't support this? Not at the moment, but um, there's a definite plan to move maybe, to 10 bit support. Maybe in Lion, in OS 10 Lion. Uh, absolutely, that. yeah. So, what about um, software? I mean, does, what software supports 10 bit? Do we need the software to support it? Absolutely. You, you, we're going to be looking at a, a whole progression now of applications that will support it. And obviously, everyone will, will be waiting for the Adobe platform uh, to come along for uh, Photoshop and Elements, etc., right. um, that are going to support 10 bit. But I think the operating system needs to come first, and then the application support will follow afterwards. And what about calibrating this? I mean, does this, I can see that this has got this, this hood around it, so this is clearly meant as a, a, a photographer or, or an imaging professional's monitor. A absolutely, um, I mean, uh, most people think that the, the hood is there to actually ca um, stop the reflections of the light, but actually it's there to concentrate the color. Your eye, when you're looking at uh, color on the screen, um, is very much influenced by the background colors on the walls, and therefore uh, th this helps to shade off the color, so you get much better color accuracy on the screen. Uh, and when it comes to calibrating it, is, this, is there a calibration solution built in here? Or is there, do yeah, with, somebody with, use their own calibrator, calorimeter? Uh, with all the NEC SpectraView range, you get your own uh, color profiling software that we sell with the products, which right. allow you to then use it with a third-party calorimeter oh, okay. uh, from people like x Right and Spider. And um, so using our software gives you access to a, uh, an extended color palette, uh, typically 14-bit or 16-bit. So you would use the calorimeter you've already got Correct. with, with your software and that access is, I think you mentioned something about special hardware inside the monitor? Yeah, it's a, basically we have a 14-bit lookup table which is stored inside the monitor and therefore when you're making adjustments to your color temperature uh, or your uh, gamma, uh, the changes are made inside the monitor rather than on the graphics controller and that oh, yeah. basically allows you to, um, to calibrate your monitor successfully without diminishing the size of the color gamma that's available to you. Okay, neat. Okay, well thank you very much for showing us the monitor. No problem. And I hope it's a successful show for you. It has been so far, thank you. Great, thanks a lot. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.